Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this series of Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we talked about Azure AD Seamless Single Sign-On. We discussed how Azure AD Seamless SSO works and I demonstrated you how to configure this feature in Azure Active Directory. This particular video is dedicated to Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. We will understand what is the difference between Azure AD Connect and Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. What are the prerequisites for deploying Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync? And I will demonstrate to you how to configure and test Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync is a lightweight version of Azure AD Connect that is designed to meet and accomplish your hybrid identity goals. If you are familiar with Azure AD Connect tool, this tool is used to synchronize the on-premise identities to Azure Active Directory. Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync is also designed to synchronize on-premise identities to Azure AD. But there are lots of differences between Azure AD Connect and Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. When we install Azure AD Connect, it installs an agent in on-premise server and in Azure Active Directory, along with a local SQL database. But in case of Cloud Sync, a lightweight agent is installed in on-premise server. In Azure AD Connect, by default, Sync runs every 30 minutes. But in case of Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync, Sync runs every two minutes. Azure AD Connect supports pass-through authentication but Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync doesn't support pass-through authentication. With Azure AD Connect, you can synchronize device identities to Azure AD, but in Cloud Sync, this feature is missing. In Azure AD Connect, you can create more complex rules to customize the attributes flow. But in Cloud Sync, you cannot create such complex rules. Apart from this, device write back, group write back and hybrid attributes write back is still missing in Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. Now let's talk about the prerequisites for Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync deployment. For installation of agent, you need a domain joint server machine that is running on Windows Server 2016 or later, along with .NET 4.7.1 runtime or later. You need credentials of Azure AD Tenant Global Administrator and Enterprise Administrator of your on-premise Active Directory. You need to allow port 443, port 80, and port 8080 in your firewall. And you also need to allow these URLs in your network. These URLs will be used by the agent to communicate with Azure Active Directory and to verify these certificates. So now let's move towards our lab and let's configure Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. This is my domain controller that I will be using for this particular demo. I have already allowed port 443, 80, and 8080 in my firewall. I have created inbound rules and outbound rules as well. And I have allowed the URLs under trusted sites. You can see the URLs here. These are already allowed. If you want, you can allow these URLs with the help of group policy as well. So I have met all the prerequisites. Now let's go to Azure Active Directory and let's configure Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. So first you will go to Azure Active Directory and then you will go to Azure AD Connect. On Azure AD Connect page, you will click Manage Azure AD Cloud Sync. And from here, you will download Agent. Make sure you are logged in to Azure AD from your domain controller or from the server where you want to install this agent. And this particular server should be a domain joint server. So here, click Accept Terms and Download. And once it is downloaded, run this application. I agree to the license terms and conditions. Click install. Let me close this. Okay. 
on the welcome page, click next. And here it will ask you to enter the credentials of your Azure AD tenant. You can see here it says when prompted, enter the credentials of Azure Active Directory Administrator. So let me type the credentials of my global administrator. On the page where it says configure service account, you need to type the credentials of your on-premise administrator. That administrator can be an enterprise administrator or he can be a part of domain administrator role group. So let me type the credentials for on-premise administrator. Now under connect active directory, you will click add directory. And again, you need to type the credentials of your on-premise administrator. And then click OK. Click next. And click confirm. So the installation is done and it says your agent installation and configuration is complete. Please complete all your provisioning configurations using Azure AD portal. So now let's go to Azure Active Directory. And first, let's verify if the installation was successful. Now to verify, there are two ways. First, you will click Review All Agents. Under machine name, you will see the fully qualified domain name of the server on which you have installed the agent. This is your public IP address and the status says active. So that means the installation is completed. Now, apart from this, go to services.msc and under services, make sure that these two services are in running state. Microsoft Azure AD Connect Agent Updater and Microsoft Azure AD Connect Provisioning Agent. These two services should be up and running. Now the next step is to configure Cloud Sync in Azure Active Directory. By configuring Cloud Sync in Azure AD, basically what we are trying to do is we are telling the on-premise agent that how and which on-premise identities should be synchronized to Azure Active Directory. So let's close this particular screen and let's refresh the page and to configure cloud sync in azure ad you will click new configuration and here you will see your on-premise active directory domain from here you can enable or disable password hash sync and then click create Now from here, you can manage the cloud sync configuration. Under scope, you can define which objects you want to synchronize from on-premise to Azure Active Directory. Click on click to add it scoping filter. If you select all users, that means all the objects of your on-premise AD will be synchronized to Azure Active Directory. If your requirement is that you want to synchronize particular users who are part of a security group in your AD. In that case, you will select selected security groups and here you will type the distinguished name of the security group. Type the name and then click add. If your requirement is that you have a particular organizational unit or OU in your on-premise AD and you want to synchronize the objects who are part of that OU, you will select this option, selected organizational units, and here you will type the distinguished name of the OU. Let me show you this practically as well. For example, I have this OU synced. I will right click on this OU, go to properties, attribute editor, and here double click on distinguished name. Copy this value. Let me try again, right click properties, Copy this value and paste the value here. Click add. Now this value is added. So that means this particular OU is in syncing scope. Click done. Under manage attributes, you can enable or disable the password hash synchronization. 
and under map attributes you can modify the attributes mapping you can click on click to edit mappings and here you will see the expressions the rules those are created for the attribute mapping if you want to modify any one of these rules click on edit and from here either you can select direct constant or expression and based on your requirement you can do the attribute mapping let's close this as well the next section is validate as we discussed cloud sync runs every 2 minutes but if you want to provision a user manually you will click provision here you will enter the distinguished name of the user and then you will click provision this particular object will be provisioned immediately to azure active directory let me show you this as well so this is the ou that i have created and this particular ou is within the syncing scope i'm going to create a user within this ou and let's give it a name test1 let's type the password now the user is created you will go to properties for this particular object go to attribute editor and look for distinguished name copy this value go to azure ad paste the value here and then click provision the next section is settings under settings you can add a notification email uh you can add an email address here that should receive the notification emails related to the sync health if there will be any issue with the sync status the email address that you have mentioned here a notification email will be sent to that particular email address and next is prevent accidental deletion this feature prevents a mass deletion of the objects by default this value is 500 that means if i delete 500 users in my on premise ad cloud sync will not make these changes to azure ad and this feature is also available in azure ad connect as well you can modify this value as per your requirement and the default value is 500 and under deploy you need to click enable and then click save click yes So now Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync is provisioned in your tenant. Now I can go to on-premise Active Directory, and here I can create more objects, users, contacts, or groups, and all these objects will synchronize to Azure Active Directory. Now, when it comes to troubleshoot Cloud Sync, always check. Go to Services. MSC, and make sure these two services are in running state apart from that let's close this as well in case this status doesn't show healthy click on the domain and click restart sync this way you can force a sync from your on premise to azure active directory So that is all for now I'll see you all in the next series. So if you have learned something new from this particular series please write in comments and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any feedback or suggestion related to the contents that I'm posting feel free to write in comments. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.